and it looks like we're getting a solid 30 to 60 fps range but also keep in mind i am running obs in the background we're displaying it to the screen while playing minecraft and we're checking for that weight key which is slowing down performance all right so this is not a tutorial but i will do a quick breakdown of how it works i have my mss setup this is where i declare which monitor i want to use and the distance from that monitor that i want to offset from the top i offset by 140 by the left offset to by five to the right i use a width the height of 900 by 600 the smaller that is the better performance you're going to get and then i pass in the monitor number i then create a fps setup so that i can keep track of the fps on screen nothing too crazy here the um the delay is so that it doesn't refresh too fast and the list is just so i can get an average so that we're not capturing those spikes when it jumps up to like 123 versus when it's jumping to 20 we want an average of the most consistent of the last 10 frames. In the while loop, we're using the mss.grab. We're passing in our monitor options, and then we convert it over to a NumPy array. The FPS manager is updating the FPS, then it appends it to the list. We then get the average of that list. We increment our count. We check if the count is greater than or equal to three. And if it is greater than three, then update the delayed FPS, not the actual FPS, because we're only displaying the FPS delayed. And finally, I just draw it to the image. And the last section is displaying it to the screen, ignoring the colors to gray i display it to the screen using i am show and then i use wait key to check if key was pressed let's take a look at the results and then it looks like we're getting a solid 30 to 60 fps range but also keep in mind i am running obs in the background we're displaying it to the screen while playing minecraft and we're checking for that wait key which is slowing down performance but it's running pretty smooth and while i have your attention consider the light count our fps let's get over 100 fps for this video okay that was bad back to the video you could actually play on the screen cap and it's almost identical to the actual window for Minecraft. But let's go ahead and get that 60 FPS average real quick. Now to do that, what I did was I removed the displaying to the screen so we're no longer using the wait key and I'm just printing it out to the console log. Running it this way, we don't do the whole wait key. We're not doing that extra added performance. I'm still running OBS and I am still printing to the console. Printing to the console does slow down your performance, but you can tell that it's an average 60 FPS. It drops sometimes to 50, but we're getting a solid 60. This is one of the few libraries that I tried to capture screenshots shots if you know any better ones let me know because i'm going to be looking through a couple of others that i have on my list and you might have one that i do not have yet now if you saw something that i did wrong or you could do better leave it down in the comment section below because i am no expert and we're all learning together